Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I began as a abstract painter years ago and I was very good at it. But what I discovered was they didn't make me happy. What made me happy was realism. Someone says, oh, she really knows what she's doing. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but I'm creating something and um, I'm making it mine. I have been teaching national workshops now for the last few years and what I've discovered is people are scared to go really dark in a painting and that's what gives it um, the volume, the depth, and the drama. And in this painting, um, what I'm going to show you is how when you put a light against a dark and a dark against a light, it creates this nice nuance of um, back and forth. It creates depth. When I paint, um, I, I set up my still lifes and I usually take many, many, many pictures. Um, I like to zoom in and get close-ups. I, I move things. They're not always the same arrangement. As you can see here, it's the same arrangement from a different angle. Um, but what I'm looking for is what is going to make an interesting painting. And I don't always see that. So I take, like I say, many, many, many photographs. Um, and then what it gives me also is the resource for when I'm painting. Now I have close-ups to understand the information that I'm seeing. Um, this was the picture that I had selected to paint. I have been painting on it now for um, a couple of weeks. Um, what I did was I blew it up so that I could look at it. When I do that sometimes, I also think, what is my background going to be? And in this case, I even tried to draw in some fake blinds and a landscape to see what am I going to do in the background. But this was such a busy painting, I decided what I needed was simplicity. And I love darks and lights. And so this is where I'm at right now with the um, background. And I think this is going to work much better. It's important to have darks against light so things come forward. Um, I'm saving whites here. These are not completed yet, but it's going to set this forward. Um, the more darks I get here, the more grounded this will be. Um, at this stage, I'm also taking some freedoms and putting in more reflections, adding color. Um, I'm putting in a lot of rosy colors over here because I, I really like warm light um, for me personally rather than cool light. Because I work in transparent colors, they tend to wash out as they dry, they get lighter. And I go back in time and time again and try to layer it up to depth. And that is why some people really are confused as to, um, is that watercolor? But that's because I paint with many, many layers, um, sometimes up to 50 layers. I'm going to just pull that dark line down. And I'm doing this because also, in this area, this spoon rest is casting a greater shadow. So we know in this area it's got to be darker. And I can see by doing that um, how much nicer all of these would be if they were a little darker. Do you see that? Going dark can make such a difference. Um, it starts to make the bamboo pieces pop forward. I will need to, if you will look at the photo, the nice darks here. This rounded shape that's being created is the lip of this spoon, spoon rest. And so eventually I'm going to have to bring those darks way down into here. And so very gradually I will keep doing this until I feel I have kind of captured that, the depth that I would like to see. I have to be careful that I don't have um, hard edges on some of this because um, 
light like that is kind of diffused so I can just soften that edge a little bit so it doesn't feel quite so tough. I just keep my finger on my painting. I'm working all over the painting, um, not just um, in one area because I want to carry that thought. Um, that glow is so pretty. I think I want it to happen in this area as well. So now I am interpreting my, my photograph. I'm not painting just what I see here, but what I would like to see. When I put on jeweler's glasses, um, I can really see the fine edges to make sure that they're crisp and, and um, they make sense. So I use jeweler's glasses a lot for my final detail. I need to be getting as many different values or shades of brown as I can. And I'm just going to try to soften that edge so it looks like diffused light. I don't want it to be hard here. But already that section you can see is popping a little more. Um, it's because I'm running a dark up to a light. If I don't, um, it would be very, very flat. On this painting, I bet I will do this for another week. Um, I will be making value adjustments as long as it takes to make this a painting that I feel is worth um, competing with on a national level. I am going to definitely have to darken this and this in order to make this one really shine. Um, this will get quite a bit darker. Um, I could lay one wash on that now for you to see just what a difference going dark again will do. And it's so beautiful the way it is right now. You, th you think to yourself, oh, why don't I just let it be because I really like it. But what I've learned is I'm going to like it more if I do this. Um, the photograph is mine. The still life setting is mine. Um, everything is mine. But I still like to make it even more mine by adding my, you know, my little quirkiness to it, but I love detail. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.